what are the five biggest technology trends for 2021. I'm a futurist and business advisor, and I help companies understand the major technology trends. And I've captured this in my book, Tech Trends in Practice, in which I look at the 25 biggest technology trends that will transform the next decade. This was published just before the pandemic hit. And what surprised me is that many of the tech trends I am talking about here have now been fast tracked and accelerated by companies. So what I want to do with this video is to look at the five mega trends that are helping businesses of all sizes and all shapes and all industries cope with this new pandemic situation and a post coronavirus world. The first trend that has been accelerated for 2021 is artificial intelligence and big data. We now live in a world where we need to make more real-time decisions. Companies realize that even if they had lots of data, the data they had pre-pandemic is no longer relevant. Things are changing so fast. So companies are now looking at streaming analytics, analyzing real-time data, predicting only based on the last 90 days instead of the last 10 years. This, is, this has changed our world and it is bringing in capabilities from artificial intelligence as well. So we can now automate lots of our data analysis. Companies are offering automated data warehouses that can look for trends themselves. They can highlight things that are happening. So I'm seeing this in retail, where big retailers are learning from their systems by themselves, saying where the systems will tell them, these trends in cookies are going up, alcohol sales are going up, things are going down here, and you can react to this in real time. AI also helps companies to now address the economic reality of recessions where they want to streamline business processes. Artificial intelligence is the most powerful technology humankind has ever had access to. And what AI can nowadays do is can, it can read for us, it can speak, it can write, it can um, see analyze things in terms of videos and photographs it can hear and all of this is completely um, transforming organizations and is helping them to reimagine and streamline their business processes. The second technology trend for 2021 is robotics, vehicle automations and drones. What many companies are now realizing is that there has been a vast economic cost to the pandemic and the world economies are shrinking. So we're now facing a recession and organizations need to really think about how they can automate and streamline and improve their business operations. And robots and automated vehicles and drones can help with all of this. Also, what we've learned during the pandemic is that companies wanted to take um, people out of unnecessary necessary steps in their business processes or along their supply chains. So companies like Amazon are doing this very effectively where they're trying to automate as much of their warehouses as possible. But they're also taking this across and along their supply chain where they're saying, oh, how can we potentially use drones to deliver parcels? Uh, where I live in Milton Keynes, we have already got robots um, that are delivering my grocery shopping to my door. Ford has Develop, developed a robotic postman that can actually deliver parcels even upstairs to people's houses. Um, there are lots of ways companies are now reimagining their entire supply chain. So companies like UPS are using self-driving trucks. Um, companies like Daimler are already running self-driving trucks. Um, companies like Rolls Royce together with Google are building self uh, self floating ships that can autonomously steer the oceans. So all our business processes are, are currently being automated and also they're helping us with this pandemic. So in Singapore, the Boston Dynamics robotic dog called Spot is now used to um, look at how people adhere to social distancing in their parks and the dog will use machine vision to detect how far people are past, apart if they find a cluster of large 
people, it will walk up to them and tell them that they are not allowed to do this. Or uh, organizations like Heathrow Airport is now using sanitizing robots that operate all night long to sanitize the entire terminal for the next day of operations. So this is a major trend. I talk about all of these trends in my book, but this is one that has definitely been accelerated for 2021. The third trend is the as a service or the cloud computing revolution that we're experiencing at the moment. What we've seen again during this pandemic is that our work processes changed. People are now working from home. People are now shopping completely differently. And all of this is enabled by this new cloud infrastructure. If you just think about Zoom, uh, Video conference calling was something that very few people did before the pandemic. Nowadays, everyone is completely used to this. And Zoom saw a huge spike in their demand, but because they had the cloud infrastructure in the background, they could very easily scale their operations up to then um, deliver the demand that was required. So my first two tech trends, I talked about artificial intelligence and robots and automation of vehicles. All of this is now also available as a service. So very similar to cloud computing, I can now go to um, companies like Microsoft or Google or Honda and say, can you give me a robot? Um, if you want a security robot or warehousing robot, you can simply rent those as a service. The company will come to you, program them for you, and then you simply, a bit like an employee, you have them as long as you need them, and then you give them back if you don't need them anymore. Artificial intelligence is also sometimes scary for companies. We can now rent AI as a service. So companies like, again, Microsoft, Amazon, Google are offering all of these capabilities. So if you want to have a recommendation engine on your website that recommends products similarly to what you experience on Amazon, Amazon now makes this available for you as a service using the same powerful algorithm they're using themselves. So this for me is a massive trend that will carry on in 2021. The fourth trend is faster networks and 5G. Basically, this is enabling all the previous trends I was talking about. So we need faster networks to be able to work from home. We need fast networks to access cloud computing. We need fast networks and connectivity to have robots and cars driving around in, in, in the open world. And 5G is a key enabler to all of this because 5G will basically mean that we'll have powerful, fast connectivity, faster than the, uh, than the um, connectivity we have in our offices nowadays with fiber optic lines, we'll have those on the go. So it means that robots or devices will have connectivity to the cloud, they can stream data, analyze data, and this is enabling everyone to access all the services I've just talked about, not in, even in their confined offices or home, homes, but anywhere they go. The last trend being fast tracked for 2021 and one I cover in my book is extended reality. So how we use virtual and especially augmented reality to change our behaviors and how we change our business processes. Again, in my last trend, I talked about 5G. 5G is enabling augmented reality and virtual reality anywhere. So at the moment, we are still confined to, if we want to do virtual reality, to goggles. We need to uh, have strong Wi-Fi connections, fast internet speeds, good computer processing available. 5G and fast networks will mean we have this in a mobile environment. My, uh, Facebook has just launched VR glasses that look like sunglasses. So the technology is developing very fast and this is, helping companies to reimagine their business processes and their customer service experiences. Especially what we've learned in the pandemic is that we might not want to go into uh, a retail shop where we try on glasses, where we try on hats, where we try on clothes. Virtual reality and augmented reality makes this possible that we do this completely online in a virtual world where we have a virtual avatar that can try on our clothes. We use augmented reality to try on glasses, makeup, 
anything we want to try, we can try before we buy without actually interacting with any human being. And this is a trend that will see massive acceleration in 2021. And it will also, to some extent, change our meetings we have. At the moment, we have Zoom meetings and team meetings, but they are all in T uh, 2D. We are on a screen. In the future, we can put our headsets on and we can immerse ourselves and actually feel that we're in meeting rooms with people. We, we can completely reimagine the whole event industry where you can imagine going to an industry show meeting people but you do this in virtual reality these are all trends i talk about in my book tech trends in practice so if you want to dive in more and see many of these accelerated tech trends and learn more about them have a look also head to my youtube channel where i talk about all of these technology trends in more detail or have a look on my website where you can find thousands of articles.